How does my beautiful bride, Pamela Andrews? I beg her to marry me. I got on my knees. I put down, got on my knees, gave her a ring. She said, wait till tomorrow. You're supposed to ask me tomorrow. I have to get a chance to get my hair done. <laughs> 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 Made me work. But um, my wife, my wife has actually has a degree in engineering. And so she went to North Carolina and she's an electrical engineering major. In North so when we met, she worked for a company called Philadelphia Electric Company. She was a systems engineer at their nuclear uh, division. And after we were married, Pico had a massive layoff. And she was the one of the people that they let go. So she was in a point of transition because, because of her specialty, weren't many jobs available. She was trying to figure it all out. So she came up with a game plan. There's an a industry she wanted to get into, student financial aid industry. She kind of wanted to switch careers. And so what she did was, she found a job. Now, most people wouldn't even never think about this stuff. I'm sharing this with you how people reinvent themselves. She found a job with a, a financial aid company that was hiring customer service representatives, minimum wage. So she said, um, <coughs> I'm going to take that job. But not only am I going to take that job, I'm going to be the best at it. So she took that entry level job. And she became the best. She was so good at customer service that they started to try to build, they started building systems around the way she operated to train new, new people coming in. Matter of fact, they had people sit with her to learn how they wanted it done. She became really good at it. That's what I tell people, don't, it doesn't matter where you are, be the best. But then be vocal, let people know you're here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't be quiet and be the best. Be the best and then keep looking for new opportunities. So the president fell in love with her work of the company. So much he would come down and listen. And so one day, um, he said to her, Pam, he said, Pam, Mom, um, he said, Pam, you're really good at this. He, he said, what do you see in this company that we need to change? Now, hey, you're, you're going to the customer service rep. And <laughs> you're asking the customer service rep. <laughs> you know, you're not going to be your vice president of operations. And you're, He's asking her. And this is what she said, because see, she had a plan. She said, well, you know, one thing that I noticed is that you don't, organizationally, from what I can see, I don't know the entire company, have good systems of quality management in place. So that doesn't seem to be a top priority. He said, that's a good point. He said, actually, we've been thinking about that. So he walked away, and he came back a few days later. He said, you know, Pam, you asked me about that quality piece. He said, what do you think? You think we can, should do something here? He said, she said, you probably want to think about implementing a system or maybe a department or something for quality management. He said, you think you can do that? She said, I don't know, but I can try. He said, write me a proposal. She wrote him a proposal, took the proposal. She didn't hear anything for three weeks. She probably said, I hate to do it. Was what he actually was doing was sharing the proposal with his board. And then three and a half weeks later, he came back to her and said, come into my office. Well, to the office. He said, I want to offer you a position within our company as director of TQ. Wow, awesome. <laughs> she went from, let's, let's look at this now, <laughs> customer service rep <laughs> to director of TQ. Am I saying that's a normal pathway? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is she was really good at that. And being good there in this position, showing the respect for her employers, interacting with people, Putting good systems in place, it opened up the door for her to be promoted. I tell people all the time, the people want to promote from within, but they're looking for good people to promote. It's really amazing to me to watch this. So Pam, a couple points about Pam. Was willing to get in and sell her value. That's why I said you're all salespeople. Was willing to get in and sell her value. Get in the door. You know, the current president of Walmart started out on French, I mean, of uh, McDonald's started out on French fries. You see, Don, Don, I can't remember Don's last name, but he started out, you know, years ago as a teenager, you know, in, in that area. Work hard at an entry level position. And this is big because people like to grumble and complain about employers all the time. Respect our employers and provided them with a solution. She reinvented herself. She did very good. Matter of fact, when she ended up leaving that company, she had all kinds of systems that she put in place. 